But now let's get to the makeup look. So first I'm gonna do a little bit of the face, then I'm gonna go back to the eyes and then finish the face. Cause I want to try a couple of new products. I will be having reviews on some of these separately, but for now let's just get into the makeup look. So I'm not gonna do my forehead. I don't really feel like it, especially cause I have bangs there, so. What's the point? So I'm gonna go in with the Amuse Do, which one is this? Do Power Vegan Cushion in 04 Tan. I have done a mini review on this on my TikTok, and I really like this one because it has a mesh instead of a cushion. So it just feels like it spreads more evenly. My crown! Oh well. And it's just so light on the skin that it doesn't feel like anything really and it's super nice it's like okay coverage but i don't want it to be too much because then it starts to look a little cakey so what i do is i put some in there i spread it out on the inside of that and then i go on to the face And because I don't put it on my full face, I kind of do areas. I make sure to, you know, sort of blend out the edges so it doesn't just look like it's only on certain parts of my face. And my fan is really irritating me. That's so frustrating that it makes so much noise. Okay, next I'm going to do a little bit of contouring with the Colorgram Reforming Contour Stick. This is in the shade 02 Cool Tone. I figure if you're gonna get a contour, it has to be Cool Tone. It doesn't really make sense to get a warm tone contour. So I'm just gonna be doing that. I'm also filming a TikTok at the same time. So let's put that over there. And I'm just gonna be doing that on the inside of my nose here. So I'll just show you guys. Mm, just get both sides now. And at the end of this, it has its own little blender. Oh, there was a gecko in my room. I thought it was a roach. I had just caught a roach the other day. I was like half awake and I caught it and I was like, cool. But I've been a little jumpish since then. So that's just a little definition on my nose there. I'm not sure how well it shows up on my skin. Cause I mean, see, you can see some it there, but once I blend it in, I don't know. Okay, on the screen, I'm gonna be showing what my inspiration, inspiration is for this look. And I'm gonna start with a little bit of a sort of grayish base just to sort of tie into my look a little bit more. I'm using the Natasha Denona Xeon palette and I'm starting with the white into the inner part of my eye and just kind of spreading that out all over. I'm gonna bring my mirror a little closer. Then I'm just gonna use this lightest gray here in the outer part of my eye because I don't want this to be too dark, but I want it to have a little bit of coloring for the silver I'm gonna be putting down. And I'm just using the same brush to do both of these. Just so it's a nice little light wash on the eye. And I didn't put a base on, so it may be a little patchy, but like, who cares? It is what it is, bro. Okay, so I think that is good. I'm gonna do one eye at a time, like always, I think. I think that's like always. And now I'm gonna do this silver graphic liner. So I originally got the idea to do this because I found this NYX Epic Wear Metallic Eyeliner and the silver was just so pretty that I was like, ooh, that's gonna look so good if I have silver hair. So it's like all tying in together. And this is it. So uh, this is gonna be a little bit 
a little bit hard for me to do while talking so I might do a voiceover but I'm going to get started now I'm probably gonna start with a couple of guiding dots And like always, I kind of use both arms to stabilize myself. And that was just one dip into this. This is so pretty. I love it. And I have a little bit of hooded eyes, so I need to make sure it's above the point so it doesn't like, you know, kind of disappear when I open my eyes. I look good and then I'll do a little bit of a, a black wing but I'm gonna do that with shadow so it's not as defined It's not as like swoopy as the models looks, but it's it's my own little twist, a little bit more curved. And then I'm gonna take the black again and I'm gonna go on my lower lash line till about midway. And then I'm gonna go out a little bit from my natural lash line just so I can create space to do a false lash. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go do the other eye now. I'll be back. I ended up just turning off my fan because it was bothering me. So I put the AC on, so you need to let me know which you prefer, I guess, because to me the AC sounds loud, but the fan sounds louder. So we'll see because the microphone is facing me right now. So hopefully it's not picking up the AC at all, but I'm not quite sure. So anyways, let's get back to the look. This side looks pretty good, but this side, it's like a little bit too low. Like if you see when I look, it's like, I don't know. I can see it, but I doubt you guys can. So I'm going to put gems on a look isn't complete without gems but I'm just gonna be doing some I'm gonna do regular silver ones not some multi chromes and this is the same gems I kind of use all the time I got them on Amazon it's this a moz a moz anyways so I'm just gonna, where on the model, it shows the white dots. That's where I'm going to be putting the gems. And I might put them in a couple of other spots, but I think for now, that's where I'm going to put them. So let's do one there, one there, and one there. I love gems so much. like. I can't even imagine doing makeup without gems most of the time. So. Oh, it's pouring rain. I was like, why does my AC sound so much louder than usual? It's because it's pouring rain. I kind of want to put a gem here, but I feel like maybe that's too much. That's a problem with me doing gems. Is I want to put them everywhere. It's like any point that looks like it needs some highlighting. Let me put a gem there. Let's do a little bit of the face before I get ahead of myself. So this is, most of these um, 
Korean products that I'm going to be using right now are this from Shop Clean Skin. I have a code with them. It's Thai Bug, all capital. But this is the Focalore blush. It's the Perfection Velvet Blush in 302. And I'm just going to be taking a big fluffy brush and I'm going to be putting it on the apples of my cheeks. Ooh, it's a very bright blush. Uh, <laughs> let me just sort of blend that in a little bit with a big fluffy brush. I want freckles. So let's do some freckles. And this is the She Glam Freck Please in Dark Chocolate. So this is still a little trial and error for me. So you put some, you tap, and you tap them around. Okay, that looks good to me. That looks good to me. <sighs> okay, I'm going to do, I really like I've been really into Korean makeup recently, so I've been looking at sort of Korean style makeup. A lot of what I thought was Korean style makeup is actually Doyen makeup, which is Chinese style makeup. So I get a little confused of which belongs to, you know, which culture, because here in America, I feel like it gets mixed up. A lot of people think that something that's Korean is Japanese or something that's Japanese is Chinese or Korean and it gets all mixed up. But I'm pretty sure Egosol is Korean but a lot of the makeup looks that I've been looking at are Doyen. So I think Egosol is kind of popular in both. Please correct me if I'm wrong but based off of what I've seen and researched I think it's both. But Egosol, I think, is a Korean word. So anyways, I'm using uh, the NYX Professional Eye Pencil in Taupe. And I've been using that to kind of contour my Egosol a little bit. Because when I smile, I have a little bit, but like, I want it to be a little bit more defined. And I kind of just go underneath where it is in my eye socket and sort of spread it out. And usually this works best when I have something light to put where I'm contouring it so like what is this so I would take a little bit of the white and put it right where I above where I contoured so it kind of brightens that area up a little bit but this pencil is a little too sharp so I've been trying to wear it down but it hurts a little bit and you can see it pulling my skin. So there are better products on the market for this. But this is just what I have right now. Can you see a difference at all? Just pretend that you can for my sake. <laughs> okay. Uh, next. We did freckles, blush, eyebrows. I always forget to do my eyebrows. But this is also from Shop Clean Skin. They have a lot of the most popular K-Beauty brands. This is from Unleashia. It's the Defining Brow Pencil. And look at how itty bitty the tip of this is. It's so tiny, but it, it really does the most beautiful brows. And it has a little brush on the end. So I'm just going to fill in some of the sparseness. I have pretty defined brows to start off with, so I'm very blessed in that regard. And I'm just kind of brushing it up a little bit, so. I want to try to do, to draw on bottom lashes, but I'm not very good at it. So I'm just gonna do a couple and hope for the best. Ooh, this brush doesn't look too great. This is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Eyeliner. I haven't used this in a while, so I'm kind of worried it's going to mess up my look. Those are some really long bottom lashes. I know how to fix this because I have these individual lashes. So I'm gonna put some lashes down there and hope that 
correct some of that. So I use different glues for either doing my gems or my lashes because this is my gem glue that is all messed up. So I decided to use more of a cleaner glue when it's going onto my eye water line. So they're both from the brand, actually wait. So this is the Duo brush on adhesive and this is the Kiss strip lash adhesive. And I've been applying these with my fingers cause I, my hands shake too much doing the, the tweezers. So this is like the best I can do. But surprisingly, these look a lot better than just like regular lashes when I do them. And the lashes are on. I absolutely adore these individual lashes. I just broke the case. <gasps> oh, well, I got these from Amazon. They're from Lankiz. I don't have an Amazon storefront. Would you guys be interested in me doing that? Because like, a lot of the stuff I get that like isn't name brand products are from Amazon. So let me know about that. But anyways, I really adore these because they just like make my eyes look so dolly, like doll-like. And it reminds me of that, um, I don't remember who the actress or model's name was, but like she has a really iconic look from like the 60s, I think it was, with like really defined bottom lashes. I added a couple more um, drawn on bottom lashes just to like add to the dramatic effect. But anyways, we're basically done. I think we just have the lips left. So I had put on some uh, tinted chapstick, I guess you could call it. But I'm just gonna line my lips now with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Starship. And I'm gonna round out my Cupid's bow a little bit just cause I feel like it makes me look cuter. So just for funsies. And now I'm going to be using the Amuse Dew Tint. I'm gonna be doing a whole uh, video on reviewing Amuse Beauty brand, their Korean makeup brand. And yeah, just look forward for that because I have a lot of products. So this, oh, I just broke the seal. I guess I hadn't used this one before. This is in the shade Sunday. And I just love Korean lip tints. And this is the completed look. We have my gray silver hair, my silver jewelry, my gray watch, my gray nails, and my gray makeup. My silver gray makeup. So that is the completed look. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time. Bye.